Hey there, welcome back. This is Joel with a quick tech tip for Mac about organizing your desktop. So I teach in an international school that has a one-to-one -one laptop program, which means I see a lot of student computers and I see a lot of desktops that look like this, both from students and a lot of my colleagues, in fact, including family members and friends. And this is actually not an ideal situation for your Mac. Obviously, it's really, really hard to find a specific file. If you don't know the name of it, you can sit here moving things around all day, dragging, dropping, and looking and uncovering, and you probably are gonna struggle to find it. Uh, of course, you could search for it, but you have to know what it's called. So I'm gonna show you some ways to clean this up and, and make your desktop life a lot easier. Also, on a side note, this actually has a potential of slowing down your computer. See, your desktop is like an application. And the Mac loads all of this stuff into memory so that it's ready for you to use immediately. And by having all these pictures and files and stuff here, it could slow you down. So it's best to move them into folders and get this stuff organized. So how do you do that? Well, make sure you're on the desktop so that it says Finder here, and then go over to the View menu and scroll down to Show View Options. For you keyboard mashers, that's Command J. Now this brings up the desktop view menu options and there are some great ones here so I'm gonna start at the bottom and work our way up so the bottom option says sort by right now there's no sorting this is just chaos in the desktop but sort allows you to snap things to grid so that stuff doesn't get overlapped when you move them around um, for some reason it's throwing them all in the same place oh, isn't that interesting or you can sort by name so if you are a person who loves the alphabet now all these files are organized alphabetically. Of course, the Mac starts top right corner, and there's some history for that, but not right now. So we've got A here going down, A, 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 B, 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 all the way to W on the left. I don't like this one though, because I prefer Kind. Kind is my absolute favorite, why? Because it sorts them by file type. Here's all my Adobe Illustrators. Here's all my folders. Here's all my JPEGs. So if I'm looking for a song, I know that it's gonna be with the MP3s or a video. I know it's gonna be with the MP4s. That is amazingly awesome. And of course they are alphabetized. D-H-N-P-P-P, a -P -P, oh, bunch of pieces. All right, this is the one I really prefer, but you've got other options. Date modified, created, last open, added size tags. So if you know you're looking for a file on a cluttered desktop and it was the last one you used, sort it by date, created or modified, and boom, it's gonna be the top right. Now, going up, icon preview. This is one of the most underused, best features you can turn on. Look at the difference. If you have a modern Mac that's fast enough to handle this, the preview is gonna show you a thumbnail. So right now, where is that red sunset? I have a red sunset photo, but I don't know which one it is. I could open all my pictures and waste my time, or I could turn this on and be like, red sunset, ah, it's right there. Where's my Halloween? Oh, it's right there. Uh, where is that picture of the turkey? Oh, it's right there. Where's the video of how animals eat? Because I know what it is, I've seen it. Oh, there it is. So this is such an awesome way to organize. Now moving on, show item info. I really love this one. It adds a lot more detail and makes it cluttered, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Because right now, uh, the, the detail is gonna show you like resolution for photos, how many items are in a folder, uh, the file size for some things, um, the time, how long an MP3 is or a movie. I love this, but it makes it cluttered. So then the next option, label positions on the left or sorry, the bottom of the right, this helps really fix that. By going to the right, you can stack a lot more icons, you get more room for your text, and it's easier to read now. So now I can see, here's all my pictures, all my file sizes. So when I wanna get rid of small files, I can find the thumbnails this way without opening them and just hit delete, because I can see how big they are. Or empty folders, oh, there's nothing in it, delete, right? I can see what all these Adobe Illustrator files are. It makes it so convenient. Now the next couple is text size. If you are struggling to read what you have, uh, if your eyes maybe are not optimal, uh, like perfect vision, you can change that. As well as the top icon size option here. You can make your icons really big or make them really small. Of course, this is great for people with vision problems or who have reading glasses or whatever. Uh, I definitely wear reading glasses, but I still keep mine uh, a little small, about a size 12, sometimes even smaller, about 44 size. So this is a really powerful tool for organizing your desktop. And of course, once you've got this, like here's pictures, I can just find all those pictures and I can drag and drop them into my pictures folder. 
That was very easy and efficient. I can find all of those Adobe Illustrator files right there. And I can also put those into my Adobe Illustrator folder right there. And, and on and on you go. And this will save you so much time when looking for things. If you want to learn how to customize these icons, check out my tech tip on making your own customized icons for Mac using pages for free. All right, see y'all. Thanks for watching.